Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about PCR, that is polymerase chain reaction. It is a technique used in molecular biology to create several copies of a certain DNA segment. This technique is used to amplify or make several copies of specific segments of DNA. And this technique was developed in 1983 by Kerry Mullis, an American biochemist. For PCR, we need DNA sample, DNA primer, short stretch of single-stranded DNA complementary to the three prime end of sense and antisense strands, raw nucleotides. These provide energy for polymerization and are building blocks for the synthesis of DNA. DNA polymerase, that is the enzyme, also called TAC polymerase. It is a thermostable and does not denature at very high temperature. And a stable solution. Magnesium and potassium provide optimum conditions for DNA denaturation and renaturation. Now, PCR includes three steps, three major cyclic reactions. First, we have denaturation. Denaturation occurs when the reaction mixture is heated at a temperature of 94 to 96 degrees for about 0.5 to 2 minutes. This breaks the hydrogen bonds between the two strands of DNA and converts it into a single-stranded DNA. This single strand now acts as a template for the production of new strands of DNA and the temperature should be provided for a longer time to ensure the separation of the two strands. Second step is annealing. The reaction mixture is lowered to 55 degrees for around 20 to 40 seconds here, the primers bind to their complementary sequences on the template strand. And primers are single strand sequences of DNA or RNA around 20 to 30 bases in length. They serve as the starting point for the synthesis of DNA. The two separated strands run in the opposite direction. And consequently, there are two primers, a forward primer and a reverse primer. Third step extension or elongation. At this step, the temperature is raised to 72 degrees and the bases are added to the three prime end of the primer by TAC polymerase enzyme. This elongates the DNA in the five prime to three prime direction. The DNA polymerase adds about 1000 base pair per minute under optimum conditions and TAC polymerase enzyme can tolerate very high temperatures. It attaches to the primer and adds DNA bases to the single strand. As a result, a double standard DNA molecule is obtained. These three steps are repeated 20 to 40 times in order to obtain a number of sequences of DNA of our interest. Applications of PCR. The following are the applications. Amplification of DNA segments makes possible the detection of pathogenic virus or bacteria and identification of individuals for DNA fingerprinting and several scientific research. Second step is in diagnosing infections. So testing of genetic disease mutations, monitoring the gene and gene therapy, and detecting disease-causing genes in the parents. Third, we have forensic science. It is used as a tool in genetic fingerprinting, identifying the criminal from millions of people, and in paternity tests. Besides, PCR can be of many types, like a real-time PCR, nested PCR, multiplex PCR, quantitative PCR, and they have multiple other roles, which I'll be taking in my next video. That's all for the video. And thanks for watching.